hello again a new day a new project and look what i got from germany huh. i won this on uh, ebay auction come on it's no bananas i can tell you that and there we go people here i have a sony mini disc studio it's an MDMX4 mini disc multi track recorder. You know, guys, this was a top of the top for home studio in the around 2000. This format was absolutely great, revolutionary, I may say. So, the sound of this guy. The way Sony did the analog to digital and the other way, conversion, it was amazing for those times. What we got here, we got this monitor out, we got the stereo out, and we have the MIDI, it can be connected to a MIDI keyboard or even a multi-track studio with the computer to have a a kind of automatization for the controls it's nothing special about the mixer you know it's like any other normal audio mixer we have high mids and low that's a classic equalizer plus minus 15 we have minus 12 plus 12 for mids and we have minus 15 plus 15 for bass for low frequencies the mixer section is like any other mixing console the point is the way the mini disc is working on four tracks is the way you can bounce the tracks one into another to have that nice uh mixing mm, let's call it master tape i believe there is a disc inside it's looking like let's see i'm really really curious about i remember i uh i've been using something like this but it was an yamaha and all I can say, it was pretty lazy. All right. So this guy, it's alive. Battery low. That, I think that uh, that's the memory battery or something. Talk reading. Okay. And probably that's the problem with this guy. Stocked on talk reading. TOC, it's the tracking reference on the disc you know that those kind of information to know where the tracks and all where the data it's uh, on the disc okay yeah very clear something wrong happened with the disc there eject doesn't smell <laughs> it's not burning anyway let's see oh yeah something smells like burn oh that's a bad sign okay so it's looking like the the mini disc unit is faulty that means we have to open it up to see what's wrong with this guy okay let's see what we can do about this guy so i want to dismantle the um, mini disc player or the mini disc mechanical part let's say and let's take a look here to see what we can do i think we have to take these screws out you know this one with the arrows well i never open this kind of machine but uh, it's made by humans and this is my say you know as long as it's made by humans it can be dismantled by humans isn't that or repaired or broke i think you understand uh, what i tried to say that one what i didn't find yet is that uh, if this device it's able to have any digital in or out if if it can send data but so far i i'm not seeing any kind of spdf or optical port so I'm afraid the input output is only analog.
Yeah. Got you guys. And a few more. And I think, I suppose, we have to take these screws out also. Okay. Oi. Nice. And the first view. Something smells, something smells funny. Yes, we have a AMD MX4, the first version 1.2. Uh, this is uh, well known for a bug in the firmware, but um, let's see what we can do further, because it's looking like a mechanical uh, problem here, more than anything. Let's take a look at the mini disk unit. So the problem was that, first of all, ah, uh, I can see the belt, it's not, ex okay, the belt is not doing the job, the belt is too, yeah, it's too large, okay, now this guy should go out, it's not going out, why, okay, let's go back, oh, yes, and there we have a mini disc, uh, is this a data disk? No, it's a normal mini disk. So I think the problem is very clear. A very large belt. Only? <laughs> Easy job. But I'm still not believing that. Yeah, that is a very, very large belt. Luckily, it's very easy to be replaced. I don't have a proper belt, that's for sure. But at least I can try to find something to replace it. Some rubber. Well, let's take a look. This is the original belt. And here I have some replacements, but they are not exactly belts. Yeah, let's see if this white one is doing the job. It's looking pretty solid uh, I have to order a belt for this guy but let's improvise I'm not sure if this motor and the belt here is just for uh, it's supposed to be like that it's just for loading and doing all this uh, mechanical input output I don't believe this is driving the mini disc itself mm -hmm. almost there shall we try of course power nice and now we should put the mini disc inside okay this is the right position is it reading yeah, I can see the disc is spinning, that's for sure. Okay. It's just talk reading, talk reading, same story. Yeah, but I want to eject this guy. Yeah, no chance. But I know, at least I can take it out. Okay. Let me see in between my stuffs. I'm pretty sure that I have a mini disc from long time ago. Yes, here we are. Another mini disc. I don't know. Maybe this one is working. Let's see. Power on. Insert the disc. Disc is spinning. So far, so good. Let's see what the display is saying. 
There we go. <laughs> the machine is working. Unbelievable. Look here, good people. It's working. Oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> Voila. How many tracks? Song number four. Yes. But all I can see there is just a single signal. Okay, we'll take a look in a split of a second. For now, just stop this because I have to put some wires back and then we'll take a look inside the other things. What have I done? <laughs> I inserted the wrong disc. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, we can take a look about what's wrong there. No, yeah, the surface is working. So I can see the disc spinning. Yes, the disc is spinning for sure. Let's take it out manually. Get out of there. Well, it seems like it's not loading properly. Okay. Which of them is the bad guy? Hmm? Yeah, that's the one which is working. Okay, let me let me have a mark here. But what is what is this? Okay, so this should go like that. All right, and back. Yeah, it's doing the things properly. Okay, so then this one have to glide in here. I got it. It's going half here, then it's reading the TOEC, and then it's going like that. Okay. So, what's wrong with this guy? It's maybe dirty. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. What can happen? What is this happening? What is here happening, in fact? Okay. The lenses are right there. Okay. Maybe I should try to clean it just a bit. And I'll use some isopropylic alcohol. And let's see if I can access the lenses all right there are the lenses yes any dirt who knows that is the lens there okay okay let's check the display here nice oh yeah voila now it's reading yeah so it's not a matter of discs and now it's working you know let's let's take a look at the cables and let's put some some contact spray or something in there that's a proof this guy never been disassembled or dismantled before. Okay. Oh, no. Maybe I should have this out too. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. This is contact spray. We can use plenty of this. It's no harm are the most important 
cables because these are data cables okay okay doesn't look good there okay this is good let's take the other guy so this uh, contact spray it's it's uh, how can I say it's drying very fast so there is no problem we're having a lot of good now the other side okay so this is control motors more for electric stuffs yep very nice here you know something I don't to have this dismantled I didn't realize let me have this back now it's fine well I'm not sure but it's very possible to be related with the firmware bug I told you before because it's doing exactly this uh, situation with TOC reading and not uh, starting properly not playing properly what is the other guy yeah I don't see a mechanical problem here I think the the problem is with the software and we should have another software in this EPROM and the machine will go without a glitch <laughs> that's for sure for now I'm happy it's alive okay let's see it again there we go reading okay nest new song number zero two okay new song doesn't say oh sorry yeah there we go then it's a very clear output but you know something why no phones output I don't see any phones maybe one of these guys return one return two that's to have some effects on it auxiliar track one two three hmm funny stop track two track how many tracks do we have here 14 tracks okay number 14 yeah it's running can we record something here yeah we are recording uh, probably no more no more space on the disk now we should have a kind of talk reading yeah it's looking good for now come on come on come on come on come on yes and this was the first disc let's see so we should have song number one playing for 11 seconds yeah it's working that's it for today I hope it's useful the machine it's working somehow probably new discs will do a much better job in the next episode I will check the mixer inputs and all this uh, audio stuffs related to the mixer and of course much more secrets to find out thank you for now see you soon don't forget like subscribe and of course have some fun bye bye